Good morning and happy day 15. Today, as promised, we are doing the huge unboxing of all the packages that I've received from Black Friday and also gifts that I've received for like other people. So packages containing my friends and family's gifts. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So let's get into this unboxing. So we have all of these boxes and we are going to slowly, slowly make our way through the pile so I can show you everything I bought. So this first package is from Paula's Choice. And obviously, Paula's Choice is a skincare company, and I made an order because I wanted to restock on a few products that I already have and try some new ones. So I got a few things. So I got the C15 Power Booster, and this is a 15% vitamin C and vitamin E plus ferulic acid serum. I wanted to try out their serum because I've heard great things about it. So I got a booster. This is 20 milliliters, so it's great to travel with. It's easy to take on the go because it's a good size and doesn't take up a lot of room when you're packing. The next thing I got was niacinamide at 20%. This is their new niacinamide serum. Again, I'm testing out niacinamide because I really do like what it's been doing for my skin and especially Yaniv's skin. It's really been drying out his sebum rich areas and making his pores look really great. So even here on the actual thing, it says dramatically reduces the look of pores and reinforces elasticity. I have noticed this definitely on my skin and Yaniv's skin. So I'm excited to have it in a higher percentage. Another product that I wanted to try was the Unscrub and this is um, basically, I think it's a, a face scrub without being an actual like, like rough scrub. It's not like a physical scrub, it's a chemical scrub. So it cleanses away excess oil and impurities and it dissolves, um, oh, and they're dissolving beads. So there are actually dissolving beads in here that I guess work as like a scrub. Okay, everything's closed. So I'll probably make a separate video trying out all of these products because I am definitely curious on what the unscrub is all about. But I saw it and I heard a few people talk about it, so I was very interested in it. Next product I got was 10% azelaic acid, and this has licorice and salicylic acid. Although my skin is not the greatest with salicylic acid, Yaniv's skin really, really enjoys it. So I thought I would use this to um, clarify even his skin tone and calm uh, sensitivity. So it's good when you add it um, to any blemishes you have and it drastically reduces it. So Yaniv doesn't get pimples often, if ever, but when he does, I feel like this will be a good little booster to add to his skincare routine. I believe it's just yeah it's like a little tiny booster i got like the sample size that was five milliliters so i feel like it's great again to have on hand whenever he does end up getting a little breakout yeah next that box i have is a sephora box again i think it is more skincare stuff so i'm going to open it up and let's see what's in here a lot of the stuff i do remember ordering obviously but i don't remember which boxes are which so, ooh, this one's exciting. This is an order I made quite some time ago, and this is the PHA toner from the Inky List. It is great for sensitive skin. It's basically one of the more sensitive skin acids that they have out there. And since, I, like I mentioned before, I don't like BHAs, and AHAs can be harsh sometimes, PHA is that nice in-between acid that's really good for sensitive skin, but also very effective. So I'm very excited, another skincare product. Here I have another Sephora package. Let's open it and see what is inside. Dun, da, da, da. Ooh. Okay, so Beauty Blender was actually having a sale where their Beauty Blenders in Canada were half price. So I got two for the price of one. This says Beauty Queen. They're just basically their original Beauty Blender. I really do enjoy these for blending out sunscreen, blending out my concealer or any other cream products in my skincare or makeup routine. So definitely a must have in my routine. So this next package is actually from Jolse or Jolsi, however you pronounce it. It's a Korean online retailer for skincare. I made a pretty hefty order. I think I have a few boxes that are actually from them. I don't know if I separated the orders or if they separated them when they packed them, but 
Um, I love getting Korean skincare. That's actually how I started to get into skincare like years ago in high school and in university, but I, I'm obsessed with Korean skincare just because of how lovely their stuff is and they always come with so many extra goodies like for example they i got a pair of socks i got the scrubby um cloth these are so amazing i don't know if you've ever heard of them but if you haven't they're basically like a body exfoliator and when you go in the shower and use it you literally see the dead skin fall off and this is so funny i love receiving them because i usually always want to buy them myself but then i remember oh yeah they're just gonna come in the order and i'm just gonna wait and i'm gonna get one which is very exciting because i was just about to buy one next up they always put in extra little goodies so here they gave me a sheet mask that's cucumber they gave me ipads they gave me um an essence blotting paper a nose strip and what else spot saver ooh enzyme bubble cleanser that's interesting i got a hair tie you know just in case i need one and some other little things here and there and i just love it like look how many samples like you come out of your package like with so many little samples and it's so precious and here, this is not even something that I bought, but they gave me a lemon like moisture hand cream. Like so precious how nice ordering from a company that like gives back to you like as like thank yous. So now we're going to get into what I actually ordered. And here we have lots of bubble wrap, keep it protected. But this is the multifunction formula snail repair eye cream. I love snail cream and this is from Mizen or Mizon but I love snail cream, anything with snail mucus in it, just because it's so good at repairing the skin and I wanted to try this underneath Eve's under eye area and I will definitely report back and tell you guys how I like it. I'll use it under my eyes too. And I also got the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. Peptides are really great for your skin. So I felt like in a snail secretion formula, it would be even better. And it's in this nice 25 milliliter uh, container. So it's great for travel again, it's very important considering you and I will be traveling again soon. So it's nice to take with me. And then as a lip color person, I don't really love like lipsticks, but I am obsessed with lip tints. And this is the Velvet Ink from uh, Peri Para. And it is just the cutest little bottles. And I saw this on a few people's pages and it is just like the prettiest little doe foot tint applicator. So you can just add some color and underneath like mask wearing and stuff, it's nice to have a, a lip color that will last because it actually is a tint. So I got it in Good Brick and also this very red color and this is purdy red so i'm very excited i will swatch these in an upcoming video maybe i'll do like a whole skincare routine from jose or like a korean skincare routine and add in those products to show you guys how they work and another thing that i ordered is this little this little thing and i am so excited about these but these are the coast rx bha blackhead power liquid and i like this because this one is not salicylic acid it's actually willow bark so i'm just excited to have a bha toner that isn't going to break me out or irritate my skin it's a lot gentler i've used this in the past and I also did a AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid, also from COSRX, which I'm excited to use. This one has uh, Pyrus Malice, so apple fruit water and glycolic acid 7%. I've also used this in the past. Back then, I never knew how to use skincare, but now that I understand AHAs and BHAs a lot better, I will be able to incorporate them into my routine like once or twice a week and successfully use it to clear any blackheads or whiteheads I have. Now, I also got the Black Snail Restore Serum, and this is from Ionic, and again, serums from snail secretion, snail mucus, I love, so I was excited to try that out. And I also got the Snail Repair Intensive Ampoule from Mizen, and again, this is a great, great, great serum. I've heard great things about it, and I love the way that snail 
really calms my skin and repairs my skin whenever I pick it or whenever I have open blemishes on my face. So excited for this and I will definitely come back with like a skincare review of like my Korean skincare collection. So thumbs up this video. Let's get it to 25 thumbs up and I'll get that video as my next video that I'm going to post. Here is my second box from Jose. So again, we have a sock, we have a scrubby and we have tons and tons of samples. I think basically whenever you hit a certain amount on the website, they'll give you a tiered gift. So you get like normal samples for like, let's say $20 and then $50, you'll get this and then $100, you'll get the sock. And then more than that, you'll get the cream or something of the sort where they give you more extras depending on how big your order is. So I'm just gonna like pull out all the extras here. So uh, a much needed refill are these Kos RX um, pimple patches. These are the Acne Pimple Master Patches. I used up all my pimple patches that I had in Vancouver and I just bought a whole bunch more to have with me when I'm traveling. I wanted to show you guys the front, but here. So lots of more, I think I have 20 packs here. I think I bought two 10 packs. So I am stocked. For 2021, I am ready. Next up, we have a kit, and this kit is from, um, what brand is this? Oh, Some By Me, and this is an AHA, BHA, PHA, Real Tea Tree, and Centella Asiatica. This is their um, starter kit, and it's basically a 30-day starter kit. I got this for Yanni so he'd be able to try it out. His skin works a lot better with acids than mine does, so especially the BHA, the salicylic acids, or derivatives of that, his skin really likes that, so I feel like if he does have any breakouts or any blemishes, I'd be able to treat them and calm them with this set, so I'm excited to test that out on him. Let's see, I have this little bundle and we have here is Misha, what is this? I don't remember what this is. Oh, this is, oh, this is Misha's Glow Concealer, which I'm really excited about. I will be swatching it in that next video, so make sure to thumbs up this video, 25 thumbs up and I'll make the video but this is their like hydrating concealer and I thought it'd be good for concealing any blemishes or under the eyes, so that's really nice. And this is the Time Revolution Night Repair Probio Ampoule. I saw this on the Beauty Breakdown. She was one of the ones that originally got me into Korean skincare. She raved about this from Misha, so I was like, I definitely need it, so I bought it. And then this is gonna be quite a laugh now, but I purchased the Centella Green Level Unscented Centering. Again, if you're not familiar, there's a huge fiasco about whether or not it's actually an SPF 50, and apparently it's only 19, but the company Purito is still in the middle of dealing with testing and actually backing up their claims for SPF 50. So I'm just gonna hold on to this, use this on areas that are not as important like my face. So using it on like my hands or my body, just as like something I can reapply throughout the day, but definitely not a face one until they conclude whether it actually is a 50 or SPF 19. And another thing that I was really, really pumped about is the Centella Unscented Toner from Purito. It has great ingredients and it's super calming. So I'm excited to add this in. It's essential oil-free, alcohol-free, um, soothing, deeply hydrating Centella extract and penthanol. So it's great B5. So it'll be really good at calming any of my redness and just giving me that overall glow. So that is it for this package. And I'm very excited to try out all these products. Next package I have here is actually because of TikTok, and this is the American Eagle, I think they're the Airy technically, so like the sister company of American Eagle, but it is their leggings that the girl blew up. She wore the blue ones, the dark blue leggings that have like the crisscross front, and she blew up the internet with it, and she completely sold them out, but I was able to actually grab a pair before they sold out, so you can see here, they have the crossed front part. They're the offline pants. I got them in a size medium. That's usually my legging size. Right off the bat, they feel so soft. They feel so nice. Here, feel them up. Feel them, yeah, you're still here, it's fine. My mother's behind the camera and she's looking at me like I just spoke, like, you know the thing where you go through like the third dimension where like you talk to the audience? Yeah, 
My mom just freaked out a little bit behind there, but how nice are they? Yeah, they're beautiful. They're so soft. So these are super high rise. They are silky. so, yeah, silky, very, very soft. Wow. Stitching is I'm nice. excited, stitching is nice. Yeah, you cannot, it's like, you can't even see the stitching. It's very, it looks like it'll be like almost seamless, which is very nice. They look nice, I'm excited. So I actually ordered a bathing suit from 437. I had some credit left over. So when they had a sale, I was actually able to get a full bathing suit for $100, which is unheard of for 437. But I got the Aubrey 2s in Azul. And then I got the, what is this called? I'll insert the name of this one, but this one is just like a bandeau top. And I got it in a size large. We'll see if that's the right size, but I just wanted better coverage and fuller coverage on my chest, but I'm excited. The color looks really nice. It looks like it complements my skin tone very nicely. So yeah, 437, if you're not aware, is a Canadian Toronto based swimwear company. They have the most buttery soft swimsuits I've ever tried. They're really great stretch. They are super flattering even after you eat. They're very high-waisted, so they really slim everything in, and they just look very, very nice no matter your size. So I've been a big fan of them. I have a few bathing suits from them, and this is the first, maybe second top that I have from them, so I'm excited to try their tops, but I love their bottoms. I have this exact bottom in white and black also, just because the coverage is really nice on the bum, but they still look very sexy, and they're just, Great bathing suits, can't complain. They wear very nicely, they wash very nicely. Highly recommend. So another package I have is actually a PR package and this is from Juno & Co. I got their sponge and they're actually releasing a new cleansing balm. This is Clean 10. And the thing that's really cool about this is it only has 10 ingredients if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, 10 ingredients only, 100% clean, and it has vitamin E in it. I'm very excited. It looks very, very promising, and I will definitely be bringing this with me when we travel. It's 85 grams, so I can take it with me, and I'll use this as my first cleanse of my double cleanse. And also, they gifted me a microfiber velvet sponge. This is the lemon drop sponge. Look how freaking cute that is. Let's open it up. It is so soft. That's crazy. See like the microfiberness of it? Let's read it. So microfiber sponge user guide. You can use it wet or dry for foundation, concealer, contour, blush, highlight, or powder. I think that's where it's like calling my name is powder. But yeah, definitely good blending. I will try this out too. Maybe I'll use it tomorrow when I do my makeup and I will definitely give you a full night routine using more in-depth products for sure. So definitely you can look forward to that. Thank you, Juno & Co. And I have a few more Amazon packages here. These are some DIY gifts that I wanted to make for this holiday season. I'm somebody who loves DIY gifting. So I actually recently saw, I'll probably insert a picture here, but they're these um, word bracelets. And I thought they were super, super, super cute. So I got a whole bunch of little square beads with letters on them so I could spell out different words and messages. And I feel like it's really cool to gift because you can really personalize whoever you're gifting for. So if I gift one to my mom, my dad, my brother, like I got these really, really beautiful like earthy stones and stuff. There's like quartz here. It's so, so pretty. And I feel like it really holds meaning because you can gift special messages to people to encourage them, to keep them happy. And these beads were just the cutest little beads. I got them in four millimeters and I got round beads also. You can see here and square beads and I just bought some string. So I think I decided to give you the bracelet making segment now. I ordered a lot of really beautiful beads. You can see like this is like some gray shadowing in it. They're just so pretty. I can read out what that one was actually called. Oh, here it is. This one is black labradorite so i'm not sure if these are actually real gemstones or not but i feel like for the purpose of crafting and just gifting i wasn't too 
hell-bent on finding real gemstones. Again, I'm just trying this for the first time, so I wasn't about to invest a lot of money to get natural gemstones just because they are very expensive, but I feel like the look of these are just so beautiful, and when you make it yourself and put in all that love and meaning, I feel like that's what really matters whenever you're gifting. So I'm going to make one that says family on it. I'm going to put the camera down on my hand so you can see me making it. I'm going to time lapse it because I am going to go ham. I'm going to make a few of these and I'm very excited to be able to gift them to everyone this holiday season. completed the two bracelets for myself this one says fearless with the rose quartz and this one says family with a little heart i am obsessed with them i think they're so cute they have like the sweetest meaning and like i said when you make them for your loved ones or for yourself i feel like it has so much power and the reason why i chose fearless is because i'm somebody who likes to think things into existence so if I feel like I'm not fearless or if I feel like any word like if you want to be confident it's the whole like fake it till you make it thing and I feel like putting fearless on my wrist makes me remember that like I do have the power to be fearless I have the power to reach my goals no matter how big or how crazy they may seem and no matter what happens like 2020 really showed us that like the world can be very scary and things can be very lonesome and you need your family you need loved ones around you and sometimes you just need to fake fearlessness fearlessness and until you actually feel that you have like overcome your fears and stuff i don't know if <laughs> this is just kind of rambly but i feel like these speak to me the most i know i really like strength brave smile like little things that just like when you see it you're just like yeah like I can do this I can tackle anything so I'm going to continue making these for friends and family and I'm not going to spoil them so that's why I didn't show you the ones that I made for other people this is definitely a very very fun craft and something very easy to do you can order it online or go to your local craft store and pick up any of the necessities and you can very much customize your bracelets like with colors and moods and settings you can even get these beads in colorful um, like the colorful beads like rainbow beads and have like the letters really beautifully colorful and I think it's a really sweet gift. And Eve and I have waited a full month for this feast. I have my miso soup. And Eve is laughing beside me but you guys joke this is the best place. This is from Arua. I'll like insert the name. They are the best sushi place that we've ever been to in any city that we've ever been to. Go try them. If you're in the Vaughn Toronto area Go try them. Look how fresh this looks. I'm so excited. Ah! So I'm not sure if this, most of you know, some of you know, if any of you know, but I actually have a small Etsy shop where I sell some gold filled jewelry. This is one of the necklaces here. It has a starburst pendant. And I also have a version where it's just the chain. So every once in a while I will get an order. So I thought that it would be fun to pack this next order with me. So I hope you enjoy this time lapse. I do have a few more necklaces on my Etsy store, so if you're interested, definitely check it out in the description box. And I would like to mention these are actually a limited edition collection for my store, so they will not be restocked. So once they're gone, they're gone. But that is it. I hope the huge unboxing lived up to your expectations. And that is it for today. I'm gonna to end the vlog here just because I do wanna spend some time with my family and just enjoy my time here in Toronto. So that's it for today, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16.